Now I'm thinking maybe some parts of this I should just put it on pause and d get some painting done and then come back and show the important parts because there's no way I'll be able to do this whole thing. Not if I want to keep this short at all. Like is that Bikini Babe one for the painter video, it's cool and comprehensive because you get to see the whole process, but it's long. And this is already 70 minutes long, and I just don't know how many people really want to, you know, watch that long of a video just to learn how to paint with Photoshop, and it can't be terribly exciting. I can't be terribly interesting. Maybe I can be terribly interesting, but you know, you know what I mean? Yeah, it just... I don't know, but then again, you know, when I first started learning how to paint with Photoshop, it was all about watching and watching. And if I can get free videos, oh, that was awesome, you know. I, I even paid, you know, videos to learn how to digitally paint because it was just so hard at first. I never thought I was going to get it. I really didn't. I thought I was just going to always be crap and never figure out how to paint with Photoshop or any digital, me you know, any digital means for that matter. And, uh, yeah, so there are several times I almost gave up, and then i uh, glad I didn't, but I just kept coming back, and I just kept finding videos, and I kept watching videos, and eventually, I got it. After enough practice and watching videos, it finally all clicked. And that's why I like to make these videos, because uh, they're expensive, they're hard to find, and so, you know, a lot of people can't afford, you know, to fish out the money, and, you know, a lot of young people want to get into painting digitally, and it's it's definitely the new thing to do, um, besides all my clients that I, I paint for and I, I do art for, they all want it in digital format anyway, I, you know, I, I never get a request saying, oh, can you make sure you send me the hard copy of that, you know, you know, and if I know they're going to ask for a hard copy, I just let them know, I, I, I'm a digital painter, I don't do hard copies anymore, <laughs> so... Sorry, if you want a hard copy, you have to go somewhere else. I mean, I flat out, I just don't do hard copies anymore. I mean, unless they're going to pay me a good amount and it's really worth it, it's really worth it. I'll, I'll do a hard copy of something um, and send it to them, whatever. But you know, they're going to have to pay for the shipping and all that. But anyway, I just, I love digital painting. I fell in love with digital painting. That's what I love, and I don't think I ever want to go back. There's just too many benefits. I don't have to clean up. Uh, so it's the lazy man's art once you get the hang of it. You never have to clean up. That's awesome. I hate it cleaning up, especially paints. The worst thing about painting is that, uh, you know, regular paints, traditional paints, is you have to clean up all your brushes. And, you know, maybe I'm just lazy, but I, I, don't, I don't like using, you know, because I like oil paints. And I don't like cleaning my brushes with turpentine just to get the stupid oils out. Even if you have, you know, water-based oils, I don't like the smell. It stinks. You have to paint outside. There's just so many downfalls to it that I'd rather not do it. So painting digitally gets rid of those problems. You don't have you, you, you change brushes on the fly. You don't have to clean nothing. It's just awesome. And... When you start making money at it, people want digital files anyway. So who cares how you did it? They just want the end results. Some some clients actually think I scanned my painting. They think I actually painted with brushes and then scanned my work. And uh, I'm like, no. That yeah, was all done digitally. They're like, wow, you did that digitally? It looks like a regular painting. Yeah. And uh, you, you know, they could print it out on canvas and it would look like a painting when you go for that particular look. So as you see, I'm just like bouncing around, and maybe I should like describe what I'm doing. You can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm just you know changing my brushes from the sharp brush that I can get thinner lines and thicker lines, you know smaller lines and thicker lines, depending on how hard I push on my tablet. And Wacom tablets, only one I recommend. I've tried a lot of them, and it's the best in my opinion. I'm at some really dark lines into your cape here, and I'm only I'm only stroking on the up path. Um, I, I don't I don't I hardly ever scribble back and forth. That technique, scribbling back and forth, doesn't work for really hardly anything at all. Uh, you can try to use it, but it, it just doesn't work for much of anything. Doesn't have much usefulness. 
so I do the uh, you know stroke in one direction. I mean, I look like I'm going back and forth. I'm pulling it down, but I'm not touching the you know I'm not touching the canvas, and I'm only touching it when I go up. And that's how you get nice clean strokes. And I'm only touching it, pulling down. And I'm gonna kind of take that kind of yellow color. Now, kind of wanting this uh, this particular version. I never like doing the same thing twice. So, you know, I, I've already painted this before. So now I'm doing different colors, different version, all together, get a different feel to it. Kind of add that lighter color there. I'm gonna kind of add a dark color right there. And so I'm kind of going for uh, Frank Frisata. I don't know how his name is pronounced. It's a really awesome comic book painter, comic book artist and painter. But uh, he he did a lot of these kind of blues and hot colors together, and I thought it looked really cool. You know, he, it's not like he wasn't going for like realism, like photorealism or anything, but he kind of had this realistic look to it because you know because of the style. But uh, overall, it, it you know definitely does look real and so that's kind of what I'm going for kind of a comic booky look but you know with really wild colors and so you know definitely will look fake but it'll be cool at the same time hopefully so now I'm, I'm just you know goofing around adding little details for now choppy details I'll strengthen the details later for now I'm just slowly adding details here and there as I can't remember what um, I don't know if I want to add all that eh, maybe I notice I'm trying not to go too dark with my colors on purpose and the reason why is because when I do the overlay you know it's going to darken a lot of the colors for me, a lot of the darks. And so I'm trying to purposely keep the darks kind of not too dark. And you'll see what I mean once we once I well once I go in and change that. Uh, I kinda need a dark color for there though. That line is gonna be the darkest line of all. This line will be the lightest line right next to it. That's how metal works. You have the dark and light line right next to each other. That's how you get metal. It's like always how metal is, and uh, if, you, if you remember that, you can always get a metal look out of something. And I'm going to take this smaller and I can just add, I'm going to put on 100% and we're just about done with this video, getting close to the time. Let's see, I'm going to add this, ooh, no, that's ugly. I'm going to add that color, actually. And let's see, i got to get smaller. I'm going to pick that color up and kind of blend it. In this a little bit, oops, no, actually, a little bit of this purple color in there. There we go, because metal kind of reflects all the colors around it. So, there we go, metal, voila. As you can see, she's slowly coming along as we go around adding details. And for this part on, you're not really going to learn much, um, except I guess we're finalizing. So, what I'll do is I'll spend the next, because I kind of was finalizing this, I'll finalize this in the arm and do the do the details and stuff just where you can see, you know, the finer details and how to do that. And then, then everything else is just repetitive, um, you know, adding the same kind of details everywhere. But all right, so we'll go to the next video.